Oh, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. What are we going to do with you? And more specifically, what are we going to do with your high-priced, high-powered lawyers who turn out to be every bit as sleazy and incompetent as the Department of Justice lawyers your dad's attorney general rolled out to protect you? Look, this story I'm about to tell you is pretty wild. And as I watched it play out yesterday, I almost couldn't believe what I was hearing. Now, remember that whole sweetheart deal Hunter got from the feds? You know, the one that would let him skate on gun and tax charges and put an end to all those pesky legal investigations that might have seen Hunter's foreign influence peddling traced back to his dad? AKA the president, AKA the big guy who is getting 10% at least of all this activity. Activity that was so lucrative that it generated a seven figure tax bill, which Hunter could have gotten away with just simply not paying. Ba bow, it's gone or at least put on the sort of hold normally reserved for people trying to get through to change their reservation with Qantas. It seems the judge who was looking at this plea deal, Mary Ellen Nureka, took one look at the absolute nonsense that was being proposed and said, ah, no way. And good honor. The fact that she saw what was happening and had the courage to say stop it's a great credit not just to her, but also the resilience of the rather battered American justice system, where if you are a Biden at least, the fix is, generally speaking, comprehensively in. Only this time, it wasn't. You see, it came out in the plea bargain hearing that what was proposed for Hunter was not just something that would get him off the hook for all the stupid crimes we do know about. The deal was also going to protect him from any investigation ever into anything he'd ever done in the past, in perpetuity. Now, an analysis of the transcripts, sadly cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, of the hearing reveals that Hunter's lawyers essentially tried to bury the immunity clause that he was being offered, which had been negotiated with the Department of Justice. And I put that word in quotes. This was done to keep Judge Noreka from getting wise to the deal. Not only that, they had worded this immunity clause in such a way that the judge would be powerless to reject it. Well, guess what? She was too clever for them, and she did. She blew the whole thing up, and Hunter Biden's plea deal is now suspended until everyone goes back to the drawing board. Going through the transcript of the hearing, it turns out what Hunter's lawyers and the Department of Justice tried on here was absolutely incredible. The judge asked the prosecutor not once but five times if there was any precedent for this sweetest of sweetheart deals that was so sugary that if it was a snack food, it would be endorsed by Lizzo. She said she had never seen a deal with this sort of, quote, not to prosecute, lifetime, get out of jail free clause in it. And she even questioned its constitutionality. But guess what? There's actually more to this. And I mean, this shows how absolutely sleazy Team Biden is. According to the judge, someone, apparently from Hunter's legal team, called up the court and pretended to be someone else, asking that a friend of the court brief, an amicus brief as they're known, that had more damning information on Hunter, be pulled from the file on spurious grounds that it contained confidential information. That lawyer and her firm are now facing the possibility of legal sanctions. Quote, it appears that the caller misrepresented her identity and who she worked for in an attempt to improperly convince the clerk's office to remove the amicus materials from the docket, Noreka said. Yikes. But look, gotta say, 
Does any of this really surprise you? I mean, come on, we're talking about the Bidens, a family whose patriarch made his entire career lying about absolutely everything, from his law school career to his claims to have been descended from coal miners to God knows what else. Frankly, Corn Pop is more trustworthy. Remember that guy? Whatever happened to him? And speaking of lies, here's Biden back in 2020 talking about his son's legal trouble. Uh, Mr. Biden, if I can, sure. uh, questions and controversy continues today about Hunter Biden, your son's... Uh, there is no controversy about over my dealing. It's Just questions. Lie. It's a flat lie because the president has nothing else to run on. If you notice, while American people are talking about what's happening to their families, he has no plan. In the debate, he has no plan. Everything from the Wall Street Journal, every other major news outlet has said what he's saying is simply not true. Pretty fired up there, the big guy. And naturally, the Democrats and their handmaidens in the press are having a harder time coping. CNN had an absolute meltdown over all this, asking, what just happened? Someone made a bad mistake here. Am I wrong looking at this, saying that, that these someone, whether it be Hunter Biden's defense or prosecutors here, how could how there be such apart? a big miscommunication? I cannot even begin to explain how the Justice Department walks into that courtroom without knowing exactly what the scope of immunity or coverage is for Hunter Biden. And here's what George Washington University law professor Jonathan Turley had to say. I think that there is almost a panic setting in with the media. They all want to move on because the alternative is to recognize one of the most significant corruption scandals in modern history. But it's something that the media played a role in suppressing. So they want everyone to move on, but that's just not going to happen. Absolutely right. And look, it's pretty clear what's going on. The Democrats had hoped they had this whole thing sorted out, this whole problem gone, with plenty of clear air for the election. Again, they thought the fix was in. This was the plan as far back as October of last year. Now, though, the issue is an open wound. Hunter has had to plead not guilty until or if this thing can be resolved, meaning the gun and especially the tax stuff with the great question of where did the money come from and where did it go and what was it for would be potentially aired in open court. And there will be more pressure on investigators to charge Hunter and soon for his dirty deeds overseas, especially as the statute of limitations on the Foreign Agent Registration Act, the same act which saw former Trump campaign advisor Paul Manafort sent to jail for breaking, is soon to run out on his activities in China and the Ukraine. With this debacle, and also now scrutiny over interference from the Department of Justice, it's safe to say that the Hunter problem for Joe Biden isn't going away. How can it if Hunter is headed for trial? Sorry, Democrats, but there's an election coming, and this ain't going away anytime soon.